Hello everyone and welcome to a really awesome unboxing. I'm super excited today. Um, today was going to be a really boring day altogether, but it just got a million times more exciting because this just came through the post. This is a uh, Western Digital MyBook Essential USB 3.0 3TB hard drive. Um, the best thing about this is I had no idea I was getting it. I did a few tweets last week um, explaining how terrible my hard drive situation was. I've been getting quite a bit of video editing work and uh, I didn't have enough space to complete this project that I needed to do for someone that I'd already been paid for. And uh, the situation was looking really bad so I started doing some crazy stuff, you know, digging out old iPods and stuff to store data on, sticking a load of stuff on my gaming PC and it's just all been really sketchy. And the worst thing about it all is the fact that none of it has been backed up. Um, inside my Mac Pro I've got a total hard drive space of, I don't know, quite a lot. And um, it, I had at least 1.5 terabytes of data that wasn't backed up. My Mac wasn't backed up, my operating system, my, um, my applications, my iTunes library, none of that stuff was backed up. It was only the video editing stuff that was. So um, I've got this from a really special friend. Um, she must have seen my tweets and just um, went out to Amazon and just posted me this, which is absolutely wonderful. I am so massively grateful because the other killer is the fact that I have no money at the moment and uh, I really needed hard drives. So once I unbox this and plug it in, my hard drive situation is sorted. So let's take a little look at the box. I just cannot believe this, guys. This is absolutely fantastic. Um, it says here on the box, it's the world's number one best-selling hard drive, which is sweet. That's fantastic. The world's number one best-selling external hard drive. That's awesome. I didn't know that. So you can see here, guys, sorry about the angle and sorry about the lighting as well. My lights are all actually in a club at the moment. Um, we've got Western Digital MyBook Essential USB 2.0 and 3.0. Uh, three terabyte capacity. You can see USB 2.0 and 3.0 there. Here's a little chart on the back. The red line is USB 3.0 and the grey line is 2.0. So you can see one hell of a massive difference there. That's the speed increase that they claim that you get from USB 3.0, which is sweet because as you guys know, I installed two USB 3.0 cards into my Mac Pro not so long ago. So I'm going to get my scissors and dig into this box. Now, a funny thing about these um, Western Digital boxes is as I've looked back at my old videos, I haven't opened any of them correctly because oh, that was loud. Because um, I've got a 750 gigabyte and a 2 terabyte, and both of them I've opened them sort of backwards. <laughs> so let's see if I can open this one properly. I'm very excited about this drive for a couple of reasons, guys. Um, this is the largest hard drive I've ever owned. 3 terabytes is massive at the moment. Um, and this is a single 3 terabyte drive, I believe. You know, there's just one drive in this enclosure. So 3 terabytes is huge. I've never owned a drive this big. And I'm also very excited because this is my first ever USB 3.0 peripheral. And it happens to be um, extremely cool. You know, it's nothing boring. It's, it's one of the best things I could have ever wished for when it came to accessories for my Mac. So, let's figure out... Okay, so we have the top bit here. And let's do some cabling first. So here we have the standard UK power plug. Very nice. You can see just your little end on there. What do we have here? Ah, cool, free antivirus plus. Handy, not gonna need that for Mac. Uh, there's setup guide, plug the thing in. That's good. The full instructions. And that's it for documentation, I believe. Here we have the USB 3.0 and 2.0 cable. Very nice. Looking very, that end that goes into the hard drive is pretty funky because I believe 
they're two separate ones. Maybe that's 2.0 and that's 3.0. I'm not too sure. But you can see that it's blue on that end, symbolizing that that's USB 3.0. So I can go straight into my USB 3.0 card. Oh, that's not it for documentation. We have another sort of setup guide. There you go. Shows you how to plug the thing in again. That's pretty cool. So, let's get this out of the box. That's the box totally empty, guys. Feels very nice. It's black in colour, which I like a lot. Here's the drive. Looks very similar to my 2 terabyte. And it's glossy. That is a gorgeous finish. Loving that. And there we have it. Here's the drive. So you can see the Western Digital logo down there. There is a power LED on the front. I don't know if it's coming out on camera, but it's right around there. Yeah, you can see it. Um, we have some non-slip feet on the bottom. Nice ventilation all around the drive. Uh, we have our power button. Nice and clicky. Uh, USB 2.0 and 3.0 connection. Uh, power connection and a Kensington lock. Sorry about that cut there everyone, someone phoning me. But yeah, that's a tour of the drive. Very clean design, very small little enclosure. It's really, really nice. What I'm gonna do is hook it up and uh, just give you a quick bonus clip at the end of this thing all fired up and working nicely. So I'm gonna format it and uh, start the backup. So here we have the two drives sitting on top of my Mac. Here's my new one at the top. That's the USB 3.0 uh, three terabyte drive. And the one on the bottom is the Firewire 800 2 terabyte drive. So that's now 5 terabytes of total backup, which is going to do me awesome for hopefully ages and ages in the future. 5 terabytes backup is sweet. So you can see how we're running both the external drives. Um, this is the new one, the 3 terabyte. Um, that's running Time Machine for the Mac as a whole, which is awesome. And that obviously runs every hour, just like any Time Machine disk. And then we have the 2 terabyte that I've had for a while now. And that's a Scratch clone, which basically means that this is an identical clone of my Final Cut Scratch disk for external backup. Um, this disk up here, the top one. Um, so yeah, that's pretty sweet. That backs up once a day at uh, half past ten at night and that backs up every hour like I said and this is the extreme measures that I went to this is a non-branded on the top um, 250 gigabyte SATA hard drive that I dug out of the cupboard and rammed into the side of my Mac Pro just to get some more storage space uh, which is nuts but look at that guys three terabytes right there five terabytes external total that is awesome. So, I'm going to uh, set Time Machine to go and then I'll give you an outro clip. Check this out, guys. Backing up uh, just over a million items. Um, that's 1.06 terabytes of data. So, that's on a 3 terabyte drive. That means I've got like 2 terabytes Time Machine spare, which is awesome. I could even partition this disk if I wanted and use it for general storage, but I don't need to at the moment. Um, I've got loads of space. I'm really, really happy now. And check this out, guys. About three hours, which is sweet, and it's going at a really good pace. So, um, you know, I've never experienced USB 3.0 speeds before, and I'm not sure what they're meant to be. But I can say that, hell yeah, I'm really pleased with the speed of that drive. And, of course, the speed of the drive doesn't even matter, considering the fact that it's uh, just a time machine drive, and it sits there backing up quietly on its own all day. So, um... That's looking wonderful. Really pleased with that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. I need to now tidy up my room a little bit because it's looking a bit of a mess. But um, apart from that, everything's going well. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Really happy with this hard drive. And um, of course, I'll keep you updated as far as the hard drive situation goes. But uh, I am in the clear for a very long time now.